Every year, well over 100,000 women have a mastectomy for breast cancer, and most choose to have breast reconstruction. And that usually involves a long, painful process to stretch the skin. Now, our Dr. Max Gomez says there's a better way with a remote control. Dr. Max? Well, that's right, Christine. But to understand that, first realize that after a mastectomy, there's usually not enough skin left to insert an implant. So doctors first insert essentially a deflated water balloon that is injected with saline to stretch the skin uncomfortable and inconvenient. Here's a better way. Barbara Baxter was just one of more than 220,000 women diagnosed with breast cancer last year. The ceramics artist wanted a lumpectomy, but that procedure didn't get all of the cancer. So they, they really highly recommended a mastectomy, which is what I did not want to do. Obviously, no woman wants to lose a breast. The traditional and most common technique for reconstruction involves placing something called a tissue expander under the skin where the breast used to be. Then every two weeks or so, the doctor injects about two ounces of saline to stretch the skin. It can take weeks or months to get to the right size. They definitely don't like seeing me coming at them with this big syringe and the needle and they find that painful. But a couple of months ago, Barbara volunteered to be the first in the country to receive a tissue expander that works with carbon dioxide and a remote control. Here's what it looks like outside the body. A deflated silicone balloon, but inside a CO2 cartridge. A remote control finds a precise spot and then a press of the button releases a small burst of carbon dioxide. Because we're giving multiple small doses, as opposed to one larger dose every few weeks, it's a much more comfortable process for the woman, and it usually is completed much more quickly. How much quicker? Barbara completed the skin stretching process in just six days. Others have taken up to 20 days, much less than the usual several months. It's a piece of cake compared to the other way, I think. You know, I haven't had the other way, but it didn't look that pleasant to me. Now, just like regular saline expanders, the air expanders are removed after they've done their job, replaced by a permanent implant. It's the most common technique for breast reconstruction. And right now, the air expander is still in clinical trials, but the company expects to apply for FDA approval by the end of the year. Christine? Dr. Max, thank you. It is